What's up, everybody? It's Professor T, and we are back doing some more reviews of some new music and undiscovered artists. Today, we're checking out Terry Yaz, Drunk Voicemail. I apologize, I messed up the name. I don't know how to say that the right way. Did not have a bio, uh, but what I can tell from this, this is a, a hip hop song, and that's all that I got for uh, information on it. So let's just jump into it. Without any further ado, we're gonna listen to Terry as drunk voicemails song was inspired by um, himself in a vulnerable state sending voicemails to a past lover. That was the inspiration for the song. So we did have that type. I like the concept. Concept album. Conscious rap. I don't know what I'm even talking about no more. Hey, yo, B, I know it's late to call, but I'm sitting thinking alone in the dark, and I'm definitely a very polished song, too. You and I, how once upon a time you were my daily lullaby. Remember good times, I get high off the well. Remember that one time we would have went to jail, because we were starving like Marvin just from some stupid shit. We There's a little bit of auto tune being used here, too. You can hear it. The memories hold on to them, because no one can replace them. I had a dummy try, and I made a joke about them. No one could. See, I I know what auto tune actually sounds like, so I know what I'm talking about. I like people that say that uh, designer Panda had auto tune. This actually has auto tune. I had to let you grow so you could live your life. Come back and let me know if there was something in me that you really wanted back. Now you with somebody else. I like this though, conscious rap. love, I haven't forgotten about just sipping on my vodka. I call the simply say I'm still your baby. I heard that punch right there, though. That little punch was a little bit, uh, that was a, that's what I'll say that for the critique section. I heard you doing bad, hit me and I'm running back. Just smoke sick a nigga, I swear that I'm all over that. This is kind of tight though. I like this. I like this song. This was cool. I'm trying. To, it's something this reminds me. Of. I can't remember what we're called though. But don't tell nobody that. Did it for you. I still think that the talkative. They so damn negative. Don't earn so positive. Yeah. I heard you still out there with little Mr. Mudface. He got in clean, clapping to save a whole my place. Why did I let I you like go? how though he, this guy I think is a really good vocal you performer. Like, he's got some energy and some emotion. There was something in me that you really wanted back. I found another bottle of vodka. Now I'm about to throw it back. I haven't forgotten about you sipping on my vodka. I call the simply say I'm still your baby. Hey, love, I haven't forgotten about you. I don't wanna start no drama. I call the simply say I'm still your baby. Hey, yo, we listen up. I think that sounded no pretty cool, this though. This my 47th call, yo, tell me, have you woken up? And I hope I got your home lit up like a mother. If it takes your ass and maybe you move under the this covers, my shirt is tight as hell. Uh, From crying mad as hell, I'm nowhere near so but And I know that you can probably sell. The drinks, they got me tripping. But steadily, I'm sipping, drinking, throwing up my truth on the table. So nothing's sitting. Hot damn, I'm going loco. I think I'm going crazy. That's what they be saying lately. Maybe no, if I have my baby, I could get it together. With you, I'm so much better. We pet up together like some jelly or some peanut butter. Maybe I should stop <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I'm from my thinking I'm drunk, calling, blowing up. My ex and swimming in my feelings, but I'll be right here floating fast, missing you and spitting fast. Waking on my baby to fucking call me back. Hey, love, I haven't forgotten about you. Sipping on my vodka, I call the simply say I'm still your baby. Hey, love, I haven't forgotten about you. I don't want to start no drama. I call the simply say I'm still. That was a pretty well done song. I had to give him the props for that one. Is there stuff after the credits? Like a Marvel movie? No. Nope. Okay. Alright, bring it back to my face. My beautiful face. Alright, good job. My boy is Harry Yaz. I like the song. Good stuff. That's my first reactions to it. I think this was very polished. And I like that about it. I also like how in yesterday's video you heard me complaining about like how so many people are are like rappers that are like 
play rappers. You know what I mean? But like this, I liked it because this is what I'm talking about. This was this was something that gets always personal to you. I can tell you had some some real realistic emotions that were put into this, and I was feeling it. So I'm rocking with you all the way on this one, my guy. For the critique section of the video, what's well, something I say for the critiques? During the chorus of it, um, I had a problem with, it sounded like rhythmically it got a little bit off, a little bit rhythmically. It wasn't as tight as I would have liked it to be if I was the producer or if I was the engineer on it. I probably would have either like edited that in a way that it slid things together a little bit better or if I was like your, um, if I was the engineer, like if you were in the studio with me back when I used to do that before COVID. I probably would have had you do that one over. Um, the only other thing too I said about that also that there was a, a semi obvious punch that was in there during the uh, the the chorus. So that's really the only critique I have because the reason why it stands out to me first off I do uh, audio engineering I do mixing I got me a Fiverr account now y'all so hit me up. Uh, that's <laughs> that to the point. Reason is, I hear that stuff is because I, I am a mix engineer and I notice those things. But the reason why I critique this and put this in here is the critique. Other than that, this song is extremely polished. Like the the vocal performance was great, the mix was great, the instrumental was great. So like little things like that, it stands out when the rest of the song is so good because it kind of it like begs the question of like if you were able to make the vocals sound that good have the mix sound is so good why couldn't you have gone back and cleaned that little part up a little bit but but that's really it and that's really really nitpicking too because i doubt anybody else that listened to this even noticed that <laughs> so that's an extremely nitpicky um but yeah I, that's all that i got for the critiques everything else you did how i would always tell others to do it you know the vocal performance i thought was really solid um yeah the song was great. Nothing else I could say about it. I mean, the fact that it's, it does have a clean version, that might be a, a, a limitation for my my recommendation list. But besides that, it was tight work. So, yeah, shout out to you. So with that being said, now it's time for my favorite part. We're going to go to the Professor T. Chart. That was over dramatic. And we're going to see how I'm going to rank this one. All right, so right now it's at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna slide it up. Let's see, hold on, I can barely see. My camera's in the way of the screen. All right, so we're gonna slide it up. Let's see where I would put this one at. This one here is definitely moving up towards the middle of the pack here. Um, I think I know a place where I'll put this one. I'll put this one right here at 24. This was about how this song made me feel. So. 24, that's a good spot. This one, they would put it right below Anthony Casuccio, Friends First. That was the um, country song right there. That was Anthony Casuccio's first try at doing a country song. He usually does rock music and pop music. And um, I like that one too. This was another song that kind of had a message to it. It was a personal song. And it also goes... Right above Faith Wang, Off White. Another song that was like a, a personal song that had a message to it. That was a female singer, a little acoustic guitar uh, influence song. It's acoustic guitar, so vocals, so very simple backing music on that one. And this one slots right in between the two of those songs. So, as I always say, the Professor T Billboard chart is not a comment on the quality of the song. This is a chart of recommendations, and this is done based upon... Uh, how I would recommend these songs to other people and how I think other people would enjoy these and how popular that I think that these songs would be. Alright, so we're going to bring it back to my beautiful face. We'll close this one out. So Terry Yes, I'm so sorry if I keep messing up your name, bro. And to everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed checking this track out and I hope that all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I'll see you in the next review.